Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw another Mario character. Who are we drawing this time? Ludwig. Y yeah, Ludwig von <laughs> Koopa. <laughs> we hope you can follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies and some paper and... Something to color with. Something to color with. <laughs> All right, let's start. <laughs> let's first draw Ludwig's nose. We're going to draw it in the middle of our paper and we'll draw just an upside down U. Well, a rainbow line. The small one. Then on the right side, let's draw that a little further down. Then we can draw his little nostrils inside. We're going to draw a little curve here and a little curve there. Then we can also draw his smile. Let's draw a curve that comes up to the middle. Oh, we could even draw a guide point in the middle. Right here, you could add a point right below his nostrils. There you go. And then you could draw a curve coming out to the left for the left side of his smile, and then a curve coming out to the right for the rest of his smile. Let's also draw his teeth. His front teeth looks like the letter V. Then we're going to draw a U shape underneath that comes to the bottom of the tooth and then back up. All right, let's also draw his chin underneath his mouth. We're going to repeat that same curve for his mouth, just a little bit lower for his chin. Nice job. Now we can draw his left cheek. We're going to start here, and we're going to draw a curve that comes around and then connects to his chin. Then we're going to draw the right side of his face. We're going to start at his nose, and then we're going to curve around and connect back down to his chin. Now let's draw his eyes. We're going to start here and let's draw an upside down U for one eye. So we're going to draw right here in between his cheek and his nose. Then we're going to do that same upside down U over here for his other eye. Yeah, and then we can also draw a small circle inside for his pupil and color it in. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Yeah, there you go. And then let's also draw his eyebrows. We're going to make him look a little angry. So we'll draw a diagonal line coming off to the left. And then also the same diagonal line going the other direction to the right. Now we're going to draw the top of his head. Let's start over here on the left side of his face. We're going to curve up and then stop right above his nose. Yeah. Then we can draw the right side and except drawing it all the way up, we're going to stop right about there. Then we're going to draw his hair coming down close to his eyebrow and then connecting to the right side of his head down here. He has a lot of hair. <laughs> we need to draw that next. He's like a scientist. He does kind of look like a scientist. Now, now let's draw a little curve right here at the top of his hair. Now let's draw all of his hair. We'll start on the left side of his cheek and we're going to draw a curve coming up. It's really big curve coming up. Oh, let's do the same curve on the right side to match. Then let's draw a short diagonal line coming in and then curve back up higher. Then we're going to do that same thing. Draw another diagonal line coming in and then another curve going up higher. Let's do that same thing over here on the right side. Short diagonal line in and a big curve coming up further. I love how much hair he has. Mm -hmm. All right, then we're going to draw that again. We'll draw a diagonal line coming in and then another curve going up high. Then let's draw the top of his head. We're going to connect these two lines together. But first, let's start in the middle of his head and draw an imaginary diagonal line coming up and then draw a point for a guide point right there. Then we're going to draw an S curve that connects over here to the left. So we'll start at the point. We're going to curve up and then back down. And then right at the end, we're going to curve up again. So it looks like an S curve. It curves one direction and then the other direction. Let's curve up, down, and then back up. Yeah. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, but a little different. So we're going to curve up just like we did on the other side, back down. 
And then instead of connecting right into the other side, let's stop. So there's a little space. Right before we connect in, let's draw a short diagonal line down and then connect into the right side. Now let's draw Ludwig's body. We're gonna start here on his chin and we're gonna draw the letter U. We'll come down, around, and then we're gonna come up and connect to his cheek. Then we can draw the texture on his belly. We'll draw a curve across, and then one more that matches below that. Nice job. Now we're ready to draw his arm. We'll draw his left arm first. Let's start here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and kind of matches the shape of his cheek. Yeah. It's a stick hand. A stick hand. <laughs> Let's make it look thicker. We're gonna draw his bracelet next. Right here, we're gonna draw, it kind of looks like the letter J. Look at that letter J. It connects to his arm and then also to his cheek. And then right here at the top, we're gonna draw the rest of the bracelet and it matches the other side. So it starts curving back in. I like that you connected it all the way through. I'm gonna do that too. That's awesome. Now let's draw the spikes on his bracelet. We'll draw one at the bottom. And then we're gonna draw two circles for the other spikes. These are pointing right at us. And then we can draw one going up on the top. Now let's draw his hand and it's hanging onto it like a magic wand or a scepter. We're gonna draw the, his thumb first. We're gonna draw it coming up like this and then back down. Looks like an upside down U too. Curve up and then back down. Now we could draw the rest of his thumb and also he kind of has a big claw. So we're gonna draw a line coming up and then let's draw a curve for the claw. Then we're gonna draw the rest of his hand. First, we'll draw a C shape for one of his fingers. And then we're gonna draw another C shape that's a little bigger that comes down and connects to his bracelet. Now right here, let's also draw a curve coming down from the thumb. We did it, now we can draw the scepter. We're gonna draw two lines coming out of his hand. There you go. And then we can draw a U shape at the top and connect those two lines. Then we're gonna draw a bigger U shape that connects the top of the first one. And then this next one is kind of like his bracelet, the shape of his bracelet. Watch this, we're gonna curve around, connect, and then curve back the other direction. I love that our two drawings are different. They don't look exactly the same. Like you have less room right next to his hair. And I have a little more room. That's okay. Yeah. Because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to practice. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Let's draw the end of the scepter or the magic wand. I'm not sure what this is. We're going to try <laughs> draw a rainbow line that connects the top. It looks like a UFO on his thing. It does kind of look, this top part looks like a UFO. And then right here at the bottom, we're gonna draw the curve to finish it. All right, we did it. We drew his left arm and also his magic wand. All right, now let's draw, <laughs> let's draw his other arm over here on the right. We're gonna draw a curve coming down from his cheek. And this arm is bent. So we're gonna draw it a little different. Then we're gonna draw the outside of his arm. We're gonna come up a little further on his cheek. We're gonna come out and then we're gonna curve down. Then we can curve around up and connect to this other side, but we're gonna go past it. Now we're gonna draw the bracelet just like we did over here. We'll draw a curve that comes out, around, and then back in. Kind of looks like he's wearing donuts. <laughs> <laughs> then we could also draw the little spike on the left and also on the right. And then we could also draw two little circles inside of the bracelet. Now we're gonna draw his thumb, kind of like we did over here, but a little different. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and across back to the left side. 
Then we're going to draw his claw. We'll draw a diagonal line that connects to his bracelet. And then a little curve for the claw. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his hand. We're going to curve out of the bracelet on the left. We'll come down, curve around, and then connect to the thumb. Then we're going to draw his other fingers. We're going to start here, and we're going to come up and then spiral back in. It looks like an upside down six mm -hmm. or a nine. <laughs> and then we can also connect that finger into his thumb. So a little line right here that connects to his thumb. And we finished his arms. Now let's start drawing his legs. We can start here. We'll draw his little knee. We'll draw a curve coming down further. Not too much farther than his hand. And then we can draw a sideways V for his first toenail. Then we're going to draw another sideways V for his other toenail. And then we're going to do one more. Three toenails, sharp toenails. <laughs> and then we can curve. Right here we're going to curve down to connect and draw the rest of his claw. And then we can do that on the next V. And then at the very last one, we're going to draw a curve that comes around and connects the bottom. Now let's draw the rest of his foot. We'll come back like this, and then we're going to curve up to his hand. Now let's draw the rest of his body. Down here, we're going to draw a curve that starts close to his belly and then connects to his knee. Now let's draw his other leg over here. We're going to draw his knee just like we did here. So we draw a curve. And then we're going to draw three sideways V's, letter V's. So we're going to draw one, two, and three. Then we can draw that curve for the top of the toenail on the first one, the second one, and then a, a big curve to connect down to the bottom of the third toenail. Then let's draw the rest of his leg coming back for his heel and then up. Yeah, you did it. What should we draw next? His tail. Okay, let's do that. We'll start here on his hand and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down and then touches the leg, comes back to the leg. Because Ludwig is a Koopa, let's draw his shell next. And he's got spikes on his shell. So we're going to start right next to his elbow right here. So see this elbow? We're going to come out and we're going to draw a sideways letter V for one spike on his shell. And then let's draw a curve that comes down from the top to the bottom. Then we're going to draw, there's a little red ring that goes around the spike and then connects to the bottom. Then we're going to draw the top of the shell. We'll start here and we're going to draw a curve that comes up and connects to his hair. Then we're going to draw the bottom of the shell coming down and then curving into his thumb. I don't really have that much room. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's all right. You could leave it just like that. Let's draw a little curve for the white little border that goes around the shell. So you could just draw a little bump right here on his thumb. Then let's add another spike up here at the top. We're going to draw a little curve. And if you don't have any room, that's okay. You could leave this part off. I'm going to draw another little diagonal line. There's one more, that's the other spike. Oh, we could also draw, let's draw one more line right there. We did it. We finished drawing Ludwig von Koopa. He looks really cool, except we still need to color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it! We finished drawing. What's his name again? Ludwig von Koopa. That's his full name. Or we could just call him Ludwig. <laughs> we used our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home, like crayons or 
colored pencils. Yeah, or you could even use paint. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing Ludwig. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. What else could they do to their drawings? Add a Mario level in the uh, back. That would be super cool. You could even add more characters, like more Koopas, or even Mario, maybe even Luigi. Or Bowser. Oh, well, that would be awesome. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.